Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Into The Future. Um, so we just came back from, um, Oasis Landing, uh, the Utopian version. We came back, we are gonna probably spend the night here because it's pretty late, and then what we are going to do, we're gonna call the Time Traveler, and we are going to fix the future, and I'll show you guys how that works, and then we will destroy it and get into the dystopian part. But first, we have our kids, we have, um... Ginger and Potter, they are twins. They were just born in the last episode. I think the last episode. Anyway, they need a room, so let's kind of make them a room. We're not going to be keeping this house forever. Probably till after we go to the dystopia world, we'll come back and move. Um, just because this is a crappy house and we're rich. But, uh, we just got to put something together for them right now. Um, so let's just do that. We just, we don't even have to, you know, um... We don't even have to put toys, <laughs> as mean as that sounds, but we do need cribs so they can sleep. So we'll just do that, boom, bam, done. There's a little spot for R2Z3, yes, that's his name. Um, and then let's come have you put Potter in the crib, and then let's have you put in crib Ginger. Go. Come on, leave it, oh, 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 my bad, I hit F, whatever. It's like something or other, I don't even know. No, oh, Potter has to pee, great. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, are you serious right now? Put in crib, Potter. Put in crib, Ginger. Go, 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 go. Come on, let's go, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so she needs her diaper changed. Okay, so we'll just get, um. Our robot to give her change her dirty diaper. And then we're gonna have the robot come in, uh, recharge itself, and then we're gonna have Cynthia come and sleep. And then I will resume once they wake up. Change the diaper, go to sleep. I will resume once they wake up. Alright, guys, so we are going to wake her up. She's just going to put something together. Let's just put some pancakes together. She has one skill. Hopefully, she doesn't burn them. If she does, I will be pissed. Actually, no, we're not gonna have her do it. We're gonna have him do it. Let's come and serve some organic pan or waffles. Just kidding, that's a worse decision. Uh, let's just get her to come and do pancakes because she has a skill, he doesn't. Okay, the babies are crying, but the nanny bot can just do it himself. Anyway, so we're gonna cook some food. We're gonna eat. The babies are hungry. Come on, do your job, please and thanks. Okay. And then what she is going to do, she's going to come over here and actually I think we're going to get, should we get him to do it? We're going to get him to do it. Once he wakes up and once he eats, we're going to summon the time traveler and then we're going to repair the future and then we're going to destroy it. Yeah. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So I'm sure like when we're repairing it, it's going to be like, tell people do is not a real thing. Tell people you're all, you're all going to die or something like that. I don't know. Repairing it from the utopian world to the regular future world. Oh, cool. And it's Potter and Ginger's birthday today. So they will probably be toddlers by the time we go back to Oasis Landing. Hopefully my mic's working. Okay, cool. Dude, come on. Stop. Stop your crap. Okay, those are burnt anyway. So we're going to grab a plate. You are going to grab a plate. Boom, bam, done, done, done. And then we're going to have you change your clothes. Change outfit to everyday one. Come on. Are you are you kidding me right now? He's unstable. Wonderful. He's always unstable because he's unstable. Anyway, go eat. Go eat, go eat, go eat, go eat. All right, and then we're going to have you summon time traveler. Okay, eat your nasty pan- oh, just kidding. I thought he was carrying those. Just kidding. Baby's doing good. Yes, but they're gonna have to pee. You're a good nanny bot. I like you, R2Z3. I kinda like you. You're good. Mm. Uh, decent five. So he's on level five. We need to tune him up some more. What does this say? Scrapbook. Are these all of his memories and stuff? Ooh. Share 200 memories and unlock your next re reward. Well, what is our first reward? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, well. Do we have any bills to pay? No, we do not. Nope. Cool. Are you done eating? Alright, put you on speed two. Come and summon him. 
man. Very cool. <coughs> Did you summon him? Yeah, something's happening. No? Did we summon him? There we go. Okay. And here he is. Oh, oh, oh. Shaking tornado miss. All right, so let's come uh, friendly. Let's do Shockabra and then let's chat a little bit. And then what we're going to go do is we're going to go to the time traveler and we are going to help repair the future. And then what we're going to do is destroy it. Make it dystopian. They're a distant friend. Wow. Well, what are you doing? Just wishing you were in the future? Have you used? Take a bath and let's come have you. Um, we don't want you to hold. We don't want you to hold right now. We want you to play with, snuggle, play with, and we're gonna snuggle, play with, and then snuggle. All right, cool. We're gonna come and repair the future. So, what's our first task? First task, Mr. Emmett Relevert, Relefart, whatever. Come on, tell us what our first task is. All right, so it says visit the military base. This action will change the future. Um, oh, I guess you just visit the military base. Gain a skill, advanced technology. Uh, after much reflection, I don't think we did the right thing in creating this utopia. Uh, Sims flaws aren't fixed. Uh, they're just masked and nobody gets a chance to learn any hard lessons. We can undo the atmospheric seeding with the compound of doing the right thing. So we will go do that. So let's swap do samples. So we're going to go swap do samples. And remember when we created the utopian world, we had to give them the do samples. Or the science people or whatever. Now I think uh, from when I played my off-camera household... Um, when we fixed it from dystopia, we had to go clean up trash, we had to go tell people the sky was not falling, and stuff like that, but we will see that in, the, in some time. I think we have to, to get the dystopia world, we have to, um, tell people that the sky is falling, I, I'm pretty sure, so we will do that. Oh my god, what is he doing? He's like, rain! Oh, they're gonna... We're gonna have a, a water balloon fight. Well, doing. Oh, I was like, is she just woohooing with herself in the bathtub, or what's she doing? And maybe, what if that comes in the city for? Woohooing by yourself? That'd be weird. Ew. Oh, yeah, he's eco friendly, so. Ugh. Go away, feeling out of the source. Dude, you crazy. You crazy. Do they need to pee? Okay, quit your. Just quit doing that. Go fix our babies. Because we all know she won't. Good lord. Alright, are you coming back yet? Alright, you're almost there. Almost there. Ah! Oh my god, it shocked our thing. It, shock it shocked our future. Or our sh it shocked our time travel thing. Alright, so it says, it seems I was wrong from the start. True happiness has to be earned, not granted, like the utopian world. So is everything back to normal? Is everything back to normal? I don't know. Okay, he's gonna come and chat about uh, cause and effect, so pretty much it's back to normal, I guess. I guess that was an easy one to change back. Right? I like how there's like story mode kind of like story mode is changing the future and stuff like that and into the future I like it a lot. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Go. We have any changed traits? I think he has a genius trait. I don't think he's really a genius, is he? We might have to go to the hospital after we change it. Is he gonna come and talk to the dude? Where'd he go? Oh hell no. He left. Summon time traveler. Jeez, dude, don't like, come on. Good lord. All right, so time traveler, change the future. So I guess it is regular now. He just left before we could, whatever. So now we're gonna come change it to the dystopian future. Dystopian 
uh, Oasis Landing, where there's garbage, everyone smells bad, everyone's in a bad mood, and it's dirty, and lightning everywhere, and you can make meteors happen. How about this rain stuff? Go away, rain. No my shit. Okay, what is she doing? Is she dying? Oh, she's just playing in the puddle like a little kid. Okay, well, come in here and watch your baby. Alright, so it says, use the meteor magnet three times outside. Sir, Sarah's, I guess. Okay, so we have the meteor magnet in our inventory. Okay, let's have him go over here because I think it starts everything on fire. So now we are going to attract space object. And I guess that helps his unstableness or makes him more unstable. So let's see, that's a big ass magnet. Woo! He's conveying nastiness. I don't know where it lands at, but it's gonna go somewhere. Is he doing it? I mean, it's raining. Who knows what's gonna happen? Come on. Did he do it? Oh. Oh, we got a sign. We got a thingy. Nothing happened. He was all mad. Oh, well, let's go to the park now. Or maybe there was a meteor? Over here, let's go visit the summer festival. Uh, I think it's gonna be Leisure Day soon, when it said, or something like that. Leisure Day soon, yeah. It's 80 degrees and raining, that never happens. Well, maybe in some places, but not in Colorado. Go in your house, go take care of them. Okay, so now let's. It sucks that it's raining. I really wish it wasn't raining, but it is. So, ooh, maybe we can go like this. Let's stop the raining, shall we, guys? Kind of cheating, but not really, you know? All right, come on. Let's go here. Let's go to Seasons. Let's take off rain, and then we accept it. And it stops raining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we go here, and then we go to Options, and then we turn rain back on. And it should keep it off. Cool. Now, so let's take him and... Attract space objects. Maybe that made it start raining again. Damn it, I don't even know. Oh, well, it's not as hard as before. Alright, let's do it. You hear that sound? Got a meteor come. I want something to explode. Get a meteor. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you, Rain. Oh, he got another big-ass fucking rock. Oh, oh, well, let's do it again. Darn it. It's supposed to get a meteor. Who is that? Why are they so tall? I don't even know. Ooh, let's go get a spray tan, too, while we're at it. We gotta be tan! We gotta be tan! You guys remember my season's LP? If you haven't, go watch it. Yeah, we get tan. Cool. So it says, attend a doomsday meeting at City Hall. So it says, that worked better than I thought. Not only did we did we change the Earth's gravitational pull to attract meteors, but a group called the League of Concerned Doomsmayers sprung up. It looks like you're on the right track to changing the future. Go to their meeting and see if they are serious. So we're going to go attend the meeting after he gets a spray tan. Oh shit. Keep hitting the wrong button. No, 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 no. Go. Get a tan. Go to the meeting. Get in your bikini or whatever you got. Delusional. Oh my god, now he's delusional. And now he's disciplined? Oh lord, have mercy. Alright, and then after that, we have to go to the hospital and then we'll finish out the quests. Wow, I look amazing. Cool. Alright, so he's delusional, which means he's getting different traits. So... It says, Forrester has experienced personal blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we know. Okay, so now we're gonna go be admitted for instability. Okay, go to the mayor meeting. Delusional for 24 hours. If it doesn't get fixed, the, tra the trait becomes permanent. Blah, 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 blah. Look how tan he is. He looks Asian. I love Asians. They're the best. I'm Asian, just kidding, but I have lots of friends who are Asian, and they're like the coolest people ever. They're hilarious. 
Ooh, it's almost noon. Not really, but it says it's almost noon there. Alright, so it says convince six sims that the sky is falling. That's the fun part. We will do that once we uh, get out of the hospital. Actually, we have time, right? Believes the sky is... So he believes the sky is falling. We're not going to go to the hospital right now, but we are going to go to the park and convince some people. So this dude, he looks pretty convincing. He's a paparazzi. So let's go over here and convince that the sky is falling. This chick is all dressed all weird. She's a food merchant. Let's go convince her that the sky is falling. Who else looks convincing? Boop, 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 boop. That person doesn't look really convincing. Uh, who else? Who else is here? Who else is here? Who else is here? These people are all driving away from me. Why? Is there no one else here? Oh, here's this person. Let's convince another food merchant that this guy is falling. Okay, watch what watch what watch what it looks like. It's so cool. Come on. Oh. And he convinces them. They freak the f out. Then I think you have to go put trash everywhere. I'm not sure. Vegetarian chili. Okay, who else is here? Why isn't anyone here ever? Like, come back. Come love me. Love me. Love me. Where is everyone? I mean, damn. Probably just because it's nighttime. What's this? Singer performance? Oh, here's a performance place. Alright, then we're gonna come over here. This person looks like they can be convinced. This chick is kind of chubby. She looks like she could be convinced. Is she paparazzi? Oh no, a proprietor. Okay, we're gonna go convince the proprietor that the sky is falling. <laughs> what happened? Oh, they're having their birthday! You're not going nowhere. Don't even think about it. Yay, so they're going to age up and we can go mess with their looks and everything like that. Once we convince everybody that, yeah, the sky is falling. What does he want to do? Attract a space object. Uh, the days have flown by and Ginger is now a toddler. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we don't have a yet. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, dear Lord. Look how cute she is. We're not going to change her. That's, like, perfect. Well, minus her cross-eyedness. But she's so cute. I hope Potter looks cute. I love being awesome. Is he convincing people or what? No, he's not convincing people, because he's weird. Alright, come on, go. Alright, we're gonna watch him. He's not going anywhere. He better convince that person. Alright, come on, grow up. Grow up, we got stuff to do. Cool. He's bald! Oh, no, just kidding, he has some hair. Oh, they're redhead. Well, he's redhead, she's brownhead. That's fine. They're cute. I like our babies. Our babies, we the best. Can we convince her that the sky is falling? Okay, that person's already convinced. Let's go here. Can we that the sky is falling? Go here. Can we that the sky is falling? I think we need one more person to convince the sky is falling. Oh my god, I remember this from Showtime. I freaking love Showtime. It was one of my favorite expansion packs. Her. She looks scary. Oh my god, he's hungry. We should go to the hospital. Alright, well, it is nighttime, so what we're gonna do is uh, hopefully he convinces that person, and then we're gonna go be admitted for instability, and then go home and sleep, and then we will finish our tasks in the morning. This is like the longest we've ever spent in a regu in the regular town, you know, in the present, in Sunset Valley. Cool. Great work. After you talked to the community, blah, blah, blah. And now it says, trash talk the environment to six sims. So pretty much you just tell them to, to litter. That's pretty much what they're doing. But he's going to go to the hospital and then come back and sleep um, and eat because he's hungry. And she really needs to sleep. So we will do that as well. Um, our nanny obviously is trying to charge his battery, but get up, put our kids in the damn crib, please. We're just gonna let the, we're just gonna keep them like that. They look pretty cute. Who's that? Go away. Um, and no. Yeah. All right, we'll come and sleep in your crappy bed. We'll go back to our nice bed once we go to the future. We have a nicer house home in the future than in the present. You know, makes sense totally. 
<laughs> Rather than becoming a whole new sim, Forrester Faye addresses delusional nature by seeking help. I thought it said by sexing help. Um, oh, he's still at the hospital. Well, hopefully he eats. If not, we'll still come home. We're going to eat some leftovers, some Renoit great pancakes, and then he's going to come and sleep, and I will resume once they wake up. Alright guys, well as everyone's waking up, what he's going to do, he's going to wake up right away, he's going to summon the time traveler, and then we're going to uh, go to the park and um, convince some people that, yeah, we need to litter. The park has a time it opens and closes? What? Oh lord have mercy, are you kidding me? Well, we're just going to go like this and cheat a little bit, we're going to go here. How hard is that? Yeah, not very hard. Anyway. All right, so get up. Get up. All right, everyone's waking up. Babies are still sleeping. Oh, my God, the babies have, like, no energy. All right, it, it went up a little bit. She's really hungry, so she can come and have some pancakes. And then, yeah, did he summon the time traveler? All right, cool. So now let's go trash the environment and then go visit the dystopia. Dystopian, I guess it's not called dystopia, it's like still a waste landing, you know. Alright, so let's go to this dude and let's trash talk the environment. What is his name? Parker Langrick. Alright, cool. So this is what happens. He's like, hey, let's trash the environment. Ooh, he's still really tan, that's good. He's like, hey, look at this trash. Hey. Boom. What the hell does it matter, you know? Do it with me. Woo! And then they turn to real trash. Looks like pieces of shit, I say. But now they turn to trash. So, we have to do that to six sims. Ooh, can we do it to a kid? I guess we can. Um, let's go here. This person. Trash talk the environment. Alrighty. And then is there more people? It pretty much trashes the environment, to be honest. But, yeah. And then this person. Trash talk the environment. Blah, blah, blah. He's like, hey, let's just throw these pieces of beans down, you know? YOLO. Have face painted. I don't think so. Is he really tired? Oh, he's bad night's sleep because they're on a cheap bed. Well, sorry. And he's still feeling out of the sorts. Are you kidding me? Probably because he's in the present and he was in the future before. I don't know. Um, all right, so we're going to do that to him, and then we need three more people. Oh, here's another person. Come here and trash talk the environment. Do, do, do. And I'm sure more people will show up as time goes on. Uh, Forrest is learning that Dustin is a slob. Cool, so we like doing that. Okay, okay. Zelda. Very nice. Alright, go. Is he gonna come trash talk the environment? Can we, like, not with him? Oh, crap. Alright, where'd she go? Let's go to these food people. Where are the food people? Where are the food people? Who is this? Do we already... Okay, trash talk the environment. And then we're gonna come trash talk the environment. And we're not going to enter eating contests because he's watching his weight. He looks so dark. Look how tan he looks. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Cool. Oh. Now we'll have to do it to one more person after this. Oh, there's another person. Perfect. Trash talk the environment. Come on, girl. Okay, there's no way we're getting her away from her place. So, oh, this dude. Trash talk the environment. Cool. All right, let's do it up. Go, go, go. Get out of the way. Come on. Come on. Okay, come on. Go. Oh, good lord. Oh, here's this fairy. Let's go convince a fairy to trash the environment. Perfect. Fairies love doing that stuff. Oh, he didn't like that? Seriously? He's like, oh, no. Oh, maybe he's, oh, he loves the outdoors. Well, we hate those people. Even though I think his wife is. Alright, and then this chick. We can come and trash talk the environment. Ooh, this dude's like the rich dude of Sunset Valley. Or whatever world we're in. I think we're in Sunset Valley. Oh, he's a fairy now? What the hell? Alto? Oh my god. Boom. Cool. Go trash talk one more chick. And then we're good. And I think it'll be dystopia. Dystopian. Huh? Oh, my Good uh, lord, have mercy. Are you kidding me? Where is another helpless victim? This dude. He's a stylist. Well, 
little trash talk environment with you. Come on, he has to walk across the park. I know it's so hard. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We don't got all day. We want to see dystopia. Dystopian Oasis Landing. He wants to become a doctor. Wonderful. Cool. So we got six people. You were so convincing that for a moment, I thought you really did despise the environment. So now we are going to go chat, causes, and effects. Seriously, he probably left, didn't he? Oh my god. Just go home. Where's our home? Uh, yeah, look, now it's all dystopian looking. Ew, and he put his umbrella and he's probably gonna jump in. Ew, look how dirty it looks. There's like red oh, lightning. Oh, no. oh, he's all sad going in. Ew, it's so gross. <laughs> Barf. Alright, anyway. Let's get him. What does he need to do? He's not feeling too hot. Anyway, whatever. We are going to get her. Now, let's travel to the future with. We're just gonna bring her along the whole entire family. Go back to our future home and let's see what dystopia looks like. Sound good? Sound good. Let's do it. Hey guys, so we're in dystopia, but it says choose our home lot. Do we seriously have to buy our house every single time we come back? That's kind of lame. Do we? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening? We got zero dollars. Uh-uh. Oh no, just kidding. Oh, I, so I guess we got two home worlds. But anyway, okay. So here's dystopia. It looks very gross. Ooh, nasty. Oh, oh. My mom just screamed, take a shower. Probably to my sister. Okay, so let's look around. It didn't really fly us in because it's dumb. But this is what dystopia... Oh, God. What is happening? Why am I glitching out? What the hell? Okay, wait, they're probably at the portal, right? Oh, shit. Oh, no. What happened? I'll be right back. Okay, everything looks like they're back. Are they? Where'd they go? Oh, boom. Okay. So it says Ginger Faye, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so their descendants are at that one place. Um, I guess they, they just all tell... That was weird. I didn't like that. I didn't like how that, like, happened. But anyway, this is the dystopian world. Everyone looks stinky and smelly and nasty. Or everything looks stinky, smelly, and nasty. Anyway, let's actually have one of them. Let's have him come to the community center. And let's just see how some people look. Ew, look at everything. Everything looks dead. Everything looks dark and green and brown and nasty. I didn't really get a fly in, but oh well. Ew. Why does it look so gross? Anyway, come to the thing. Let's ride your scooter thing. Use instead of walking. Go. Well, it's cold and you're just leaving the babies outside. What a good mom you are. So let's come here and let's uh, pick up pudding crib. Then we'll have you put ginger in the crib. Uh, pudding crib. All right, let's go over to the community center and just see how some people look. And we're gonna get the orange dude just because it's gonna be a little bit different. Ew, ew, so they have, I guess they have these holes. And they're nasty, explore rift. Ew, everything looks... I think everyone smells, everyone's in a bad mood. Ew, yeah, look at all these people. So they're not creeping along. They're not like, ooh, kill them, ooh, kill them. But I guess they have, like, green smoke when they walk. Because they smell bad, because this is a dirty place. Um... Ew, yeah, there's, like, dead things. There's trash everywhere. Look at this, guys. I mean, you come back here, here's a big-ass trash pile. You can come over here, you can rummage, you can plan trash, jump in dumpster. Everything is gross and nasty and dirty. Ew, let's go home. There's trash in the streets, on the sidewalks. Ugh. This is how it looks, I guess. Look at that. Everything is gross and hideous. I don't like dystopia. I like utopia and regular. <laughs> All right, well, let's just have him go home have him go home and then go to sleep he's orange in dystopian world in dystopia oasis landing 
Cool. So she says, feeling calm, blah, 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 cool, cool, cool. We have this weird car in our inventory, get rid of. Cool, well anyway guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Does he have his car in his inventory? What the hell, we bought a car, didn't we? Where the hell's our car? This damn robot, damn robot was taking up our damn car. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end this part here. See you all in the next part. I love you guys so, so much. See you guys later. Bye.